so hello everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel today in this video i will be discussing some important multiple choice questions on conducting and insulating materials hope this video will benefit you so without any further delay let's see all the mcq one by one sir. and here here the very first one is lng is stored and transported in insulated low temperature containers and here lng stands for and here we have the option liquid nitrogen gas liquefied natro natural gas low nitrogen content gas and liquid natural gas here the correct answer is liquefied natural gas here lng stands for liquefied natural gas and liquefied natural gas is natural gas that cool down to liquid form for the ease of non pressurized storage and transport and when natural gas is condensed its volume is reduced by 600 times which makes it easy to transport so here this can also be asked in the exam and it is odorless colorless and non corrosive so its property may also be asked and typically 85 to 95 percent of LNE where LNG is methane means liquefied natural gas is methane and here we have the next one the maximum safe temperature of paper insulated cables is about 60 degrees celsius 95 degrees celsius 135 degrees celsius and 165 degrees celsius and here the correct option is 2 that is 95 degrees celsius and here we have the concept the standards of the institute state that for low value low voltage cables the maximum safe operating temperature is 85 degree and the short circuit temperature rating is usually 250 degree celsius and electrical insulation papers are papers types that are used in electrical in insulation in many applications due to pure cellulose having outstanding electrical properties and cellulose is a good insulator and is also popular and having a dielectric constant significantly greater than once. Generally, paper insulated cables consist of copper or aluminum conductors. This cable is insulated with labbed paper tapes, impregnated with an insulating compounds and seated with lead alloy or corrected aluminum. So here, the maximum safe temperature paper insulated cable is about here 95 degrees Celsius. And here insulating materials used to protect conductors in electric motors are classified based on the maximum permissible temperature rise of the motors. Which of the following classes of insulating materials can withstand the highest temperature rise in electric motors? Here we have the option class A, class C, class Y and class E. And for this the correct option is class C means option 2 is correct here. And here Insulating materials are used to protect conductors in electric motors are classified based on the maximum permissible temperature rise of the motors. And class C insulation consists of the materials or the combinations of materials such as mica, proslin, glass, quast with or without an inorganic binder. And class C maximum temperature above 180, 180 degrees Celsius limited stability up to 2 to 5 degrees Celsius. So here the insulating materials used to protect conductors in electric motors are classified based on the maximum permissible temperature rise of the temperature. So which of the following clause of insulating materials can withstand the highest temperature rise in electric motors? So for the highest temperature rise here we have class C insulators. Now here which of the following class of insulating materials include cotton, silk, paper, cellulose, wood? So here we have the concept in class Y insulators. Class Y insulators can withstand a temperature of about 90 degrees Celsius and is typically made up of cotton, silk or paper. So here we have the option given here cotton, silk and paper. It means class Y insulator. So here the correct option is class Y that is option 4. And in class B, class B insulator can withstand a temperature up to 130 degrees Celsius and this has a form that inorganic materials that is hardened with adhesives and this is the first insulator used using this structure and class A insulators can withstand a temperature of about 105 degrees Celsius and it is made up of reinforced class one materials with impregnated varnish or insulated wells and similarly for class C insulator class C insulations can withstand a temperature of about 120 degrees Celsius so for these questions class Y means option 4 is correct here 
now arrange the following materials in ascending order with reference to resistance of order to electric current here you have glass silver and germanium so here is the explanation for this here silver is a conductor germanium is a semiconductor whereas glass is an insulator so here we have to arrange in ascending orders with reference to the resistance of order to electric current so for this the first one will be silver then germanium and then glass so first is silver and then germanium and then glass it means the option c is correct here means option three now one of the following does not represent the valid combinations of class of insulating materials and its limiting temperature in degree centigrade here class a 1 and 5 degrees Celsius. here we have class a 1 and 5 it's correct whereas class f 155 class cf is given as 155 it is also correct class ch 180 degrees Celsius class H 180 degrees Celsius it is also correct and class B 120 degrees Celsius and here class B 130 degrees Celsius it means option 4 is here incorrect so here option 4 is the correct answer here at electric breakdown conductor become insulators insulator become conductors semiconductor become conductors conductor become superconductors so here at electric breakdown insulator becomes conductor here and here electric breakdown or dielectric breakdown is a long reduction in the resistance of an electric insulator when the voltage applied across it exceeds the breakdown voltage and this results in the insulator becoming electrically conductive so here insulator becomes conductor means option 2 is correct here now which of the following materials or product are not used for insulating electrical power equipment we have the option mica epoxy laminate platinum coated craft paper glass polystyrene rod and paper based phenolic laminate here mica epoxy laminate glass epoxy rod and paper based phenolic laminate are used for insulating electric power equipment and here we have said not used for and here option 3 that is platinum coated craft paper is not used for insulating electrical power equipment so for this the correct answer is this option 2 platinum coated craft paper now here we have asbestos is a dash type of insulating materials Option is a synthetic polymer thermosetting, organic solid insulating materials, inorganic solid insulating materials, and synthetic polymer thermoplastic. So here option 3 is the correct in inorganic solid insulating materials. So asbestos is inorganic solid insulating materials type of insulating materials. Now in an insulating materials, BIR stands for and here BIR stands for vulcanized Indian rubbers or hard rubbers. So here we have the option vulcanized Indian rubber. So vulcanized Indian rubber, rubber is the correct answer here. And also here, BIR is a good electrical insulator and it does not absorb moisture from the atmosphere and act as a waterproof under favorable conditions. And the main disadvantage of vulcanized Indian rubber is that owing to super content, which is not desirable for the copper conductors. And this has been super stated by PVC insulations now here varnishes protect the insulating materials against dust and oil moisture dot and oil moisture and fire hazard none of the above and here varnishes protect the insulating materials against moisture dot and oil so here we have the option 2 is correct one moisture dot and oil here varnishes are homogeneous colloidal solutions of natural synthetic designs in spirit or oils and spirit vanish means it, it is prepared by dissolving natural or synthetic resins in a boilet volatile solvent spirit and this type of varnish dries just by evaporation of the solvent and the, the film formed is brittle and strong and it is used for polishing wooden surfaces similarly oil film varnish it is prepared by dissolving natural or synthetic resins in drying oil and volatile solvents this type of varnishes dries by the evaporation of the solvent followed by the oxidation and polymorphism of the drying oils only varnishes dry slowly but the film is hard it is used for interior and exterior works so varnishes protect the insulating materials against moisture dot and oil so option 2 here 
Now, how much work has to be done to transfer a charge of three column across two points having a potential difference of 10 volt? And I have also solved this question in my previous lectures. So again, here let's see. Here the charge of three column is given. It means Q is three O column and the potential difference is 10 volt. Given. Potential difference is 10. So work done will be V into Q. That is 30 joule. So here option 30 joule is the correct here. And this was all for the today. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.